Aside from Where's Turtle? One of the questions we get asked most around the whale pod is, so which tool do I use? And by tools, I mean softwares, or as they are known these days, apps. Softwares have done to us, to our efficiency, what the steam engine had done to manufacturing. And as nonprofits, you can reach your donors and supporters so easily. Uh, you can engage them in meaningful ways thanks to technology and using the right tools. The problem that we're all facing is that software vendors are a dime a dozen. Just imagine that you're on vacation and you're just strolling through the streets, but there are these vendors left and right trying to lure you in with special discounts even before knowing what you want. And this is the reality of the software marketplace. Evaluating tech tools should not be much different from trying to choose a restaurant. You first narrow in on what type of food you want. What are you craving? And then you might open up your app, uh, say, I want this place to be dog friendly, add in a few more filters like vegan friendly and price range. After that, uh, the app will spit out a list of things for you to choose from. And from there, you're gonna look at their menus and you might go out and have a sample tasting. And then you choose a restaurant and you decide whether or not this is your go-to place. Honestly, choosing a tech tool isn't much more difficult. Fun fact, Turtle's favorite restaurant is Lucky Dog, where she had entered a beer contest. Turtle, turtle, turtle. The first question is, what am I craving? In other words, in tech terms, that means, what are my goals for the tool? There are a lot of noble goals that we hear from nonprofits when they're searching for new tools. Hey Turtle, my org does really high impact work and I would love to see more donations. Starting with very concrete goals helps you narrow down the size of the pool of tools that you'll be looking at at the end. And this really saves you time and energy. There will be things that you won't have to look at that you can filter out from the start. There's really no point in looking at a sushi restaurant if what you're really craving is pasta. Why am I hangry? In other words, what are some of the major pain points that you are experiencing with your current tool? This should be technological catharsis. You and your team can use this opportunity to talk about the process and the ways in which you're using your current tools that is not satisfying your needs. This is not different from a focus group where you talk among each other, your colleagues, your team, whoever's using the tools that your organization currently has, and talk about why they're causing you to slam your keyboards. They're expensive. As hard as it is, try not to be product designers at this point. Just lay out what is causing you pain and not what you wish could happen. Focus on the people and the process, and then the product will follow. What flavors would satisfy my craving? What functionalities can a tool offer that will make you so much more efficient at your job? This is when you start making a list of your wishes for the functionalities that you wish the new tool would support. It's really easy to say things like better segmentation, better design, but it, try to be very specific and tie those wishes into user stories. For instance, when I am trying to send out an email, I wish that I could segment my list by the number of times they have opened an email. And if possible, try to rank your dreams and wishes so that when you have to decide for between one function against another, you know which one to prioritize. Which restaurants made the cut? Which tools made the short list? Now that you've decided what you want to eat, so you've entered the filters into the app, there is a list of restaurants that meet your criteria that you can look at. You can check out the reviews, you can call up the restaurant to see what their special of the day is, and you can go the extra mile, stalk them on Instagram. Likewise, for softwares, after you've done your research with what you want, what you need, the functionalities that different tools offer, you have shortened your list down to a few options. This is critical time to call up these different softwares and ask for a demo. When talking with a sales rep who's walking you through the demo, make sure that you first approach them with a list of questions that you want answered. Otherwise, expect to be taken on a very long real estate tour. We don't want that. Aside from getting a demo of the back end of these different tools to see how they fit your needs, also it's a great idea for you to call up your friends who have been using these tools for years. They can offer some excellent insights. So where do I eat? So which tool do I use? Now that you've done your due diligence with research, it is time to call the shot. In the same way that you choose a restaurant, there are many factors that you have to balance with the short list that you have uh, created. The first is what do I need? The second is what do I want? You need to balance your needs and your wants. 
And lastly, what can I afford? When requesting pricing, always ask about nonprofit discounts because chances are there are always companies that offer discounts for nonprofits doing great work. There are some other factors that you should consider when making your decision. First is, will I need help from outside vendors? AKA, will I need to pay extra fee on top of the price that I'm paying for the tool to have an outside vendor come in and help me set up this tool? The other element to factor into your decision is the level of support from the software company. Will they be there when you have questions? Will they be there to help your team onboard to this new tool? The learning curve could be huge, and having support from a tech team is really valuable. No matter how good of a runner you are, running a race in snow boots isn't gonna help you win the race. Nonprofits, you're doing amazing work to improve lives, and it's really important that you're using the right tools that fit your team, your goals, and your budgets. Using the right tool will really help your organization complete the people, process, and product trifecta that will really help you multiply your impact. So with the framework that we had just laid out, we really hope that you find the right tool. Happy searching.